Now this question says G and H are vertices of a cuboid. Now this is a cuboid, okay? Write down the coordinates of point G. And the other one says write down the coordinates of point H. Now this is H and this is G. Now this takes us to a topic I called X, Y and Z coordinates. Now First of all, we are familiar with X and Y coordinates. This is your X, X axis and this is your Y axis. Okay, we, we've been using this to plot our graphs and do a whole lot of work. Now, X and Y axis are called 2D dimension together two of them together they are, they are called 2d dimension okay when you're working on x and y axis form what we call it working in 2d dimension but when you now add a third dimension that you call z z axis okay we now call it working in 3d dimension and z axis we normally represent it on this way okay now this is your z axis now this is your x and this is your y and this is your z okay the same way that when you have x axis like this and it's calibrated one two three and this one is calibrated okay let's do one two three and there's a point here and they ask you to find the coordinate of the point the same way you come to x and look for x and find out x is two y is two x is two y is two or you do x y equal to two two that's the same way you also calculate the one in in z axis okay now from this drawn form now this is your y axis this is your x axis and this is your z axis and we're told to calculate to find out the coordinates of point g now we'll find out the point g okay for on x axis and we'll find out the point on the y axis and we'll find out the point on the z axis now for G now we'll find out that for X we won't see this this point now is not even on the X axis at all. If you notice X went this way, okay. Now this point doesn't exist on the X axis. So because of that, for X we'll have first of all you could ha have X Y Z equal to then for X since it doesn't exist on the X axis we'll have zero for X. Now for Y we'll find out that. This point on the y axis is 3, okay? So we we'll have 3 for y. And then for z, this point on z axis is 2. So we we'll have 2. So g is this on the x axis. Now for h, for h, okay? Now from, from here, we'll find out that on the x axis, h is, first of all, you add x, y, z. Then on the x axis, h is 5 on the x axis. Okay, remember that this is always the x axis. Now, h is 5. Now, y is the same 3. Now, z, this point, now we'll find out that it doesn't exist on this z axis. Okay, and because it doesn't exist on this z axis, it can't be found on the z axis. We're going to put 0 for it. Okay, now. If we are still told to find this point, now on the x axis, this point is about 2, on the y axis, this point is 3, but it doesn't exist on the z axis. Okay, so it's going to be 2, 3, 2, 3, 0. Just the same way, it's, it's mostly like a very, it's a very simplified way, way alright, that it's, it's not really as tough as it looks. It's just the same way you have a point when you're talking about x and y axis and it asks you what's the coordinate of the point. You just find the coordinate on the x axis and then find the coordinate on the y axis. 
that's the same way that when you put that into this you'll be able to get all the answers for this it's just that this one has an added axis z axis so that's it for x y and z coordinates